Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. And today is Poetry Fridays. And what better way to spend a cold, rainy Friday the 13th than with you reading poetry books? Little boy Debbie and I are thrilled. So what do you say? You ready for some poetry on a Friday? A Friday the 13th, 2020. Let's make good memories. Our first books are Voices by Miriam Otto. 27 Poets from Around the World by Sagarika Kahana. And this is the back, boys and girls. Our second poetry book is Street Lights and Night Lights by David Smith. Now, boys and girls, I know I always say boys and girls, but I've also realized that a lot of the people that tune in for Poetry Fridays are ladies and gentlemen so going forward on poetry fridays it'll be boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen let's do this should i shuffle them up like i usually do all right our first book street lights and night lights by david smith Street lights and night lights. Street lights down your road are the night lights of my home. The stars they glow your dark. I'm using the moon to keep me warm. Trees blowing in the breeze cause shivering in the cold. A handful of leaves are the hands that I hold. Headlines used as blankets Missing Boy, written in bold. Headline, I used to read the newspaper at night, but now to help me sleep, but not to help me sleep. Let's try again. Headline, I used to read the newspaper at night, but not to help me sleep. It was the headlines keeping me warm as I tried to sleep a dream. No future is there right in front of me. Stories written of my plight. So even when I got to the sports page, I read that in a round, I lost my flight. I want someone to want me. I need love to love me back. I want someone to put me first. I need not to be last. I can see it in the future. I felt it in the past. I live it in the present. I cry slowly. I hurt fast. mobile home. These roads were built for me to walk down alone. These street lights at night are used to light up my home. I can't charge myself up to full battery of hope. Zero percent of reaching out. If I can't sleep, there's no social media to scroll. There's no walls to keep warm and there's no bedtime story. Just the movements of the trees, blowing in the wind so cold. I sleep in my heart as it represents a part of my life I've shown. But it's not full of life, all beaten and full of holes. Actor, I used to act our scenes, 
of our children's dreams for my own visions could never be seen playing football with friends there was no I in team stood on the sidelines managing nothing but screens I was living this nightmare but I was asleep through the need portrayed. I watched the clouds pass by the moon tonight. I saw a star portray the sun. I'll see my parents as I pass the light tonight. I was in the dark portraying a sun. Outstanding. I'm trying to stand on my own two feet. I'm trying to be outstanding and write my life out loud. I stood out from the crowd not for being unique, but loneliness stood its ground. I'm, I made me proud. My cries were told no, my smiles weren't allowed, but I'm okay, voices in my head make it a crowd. Shadow me. I'm not waiting here alone. I've got the shadow of me, but he always gives reminders about how he's half of me. Criticizing all my choices, he just looks right through me. Only me sleeping, ro only me sleeping ro rough. It's smooth for the shadow me. It's my fault he's left in the dark. I lost a part of me then disappears in the light, I wish he could see a brighter me. The streets I knew, you see just my figure who comes and goes. There's a distant shadow who's closely follows. It's myself as a boy trying to find his way home. The streets I know turned their backs to our groans. So I never looked back. I left the streets all alone. War. If I can get through this, then I don't want to fight no more. My heart will be on the front line, but my strength is not so sure. I can't take another loss. I'll be forever on the floor. You see, just waking up, that in itself is a war. I'm a ghost to my former self. My spirit walked out the door. Even the voices in my head, they don't talk anymore. All I suffered was constant hate, but at least their intentions were pure. Dying from being alone, and I'm still searching for my cure. The cars outside. The cars outside people use to get from A to B. The car outside what I use for warmth to sleep. The cars outside new and shiny, fancy and clean. This car outside just helps me off the streets. Those cars outside on journeys for eyes to see my car outside, broken and bruised like me. Conversations with a full moon. I feel empty having conversations with a full moon. They said, it's okay, son. I won't be looking full soon. Yes, I may look so high and bright, but you'll see me slowly falling through the night. The sun will shine a light upon me as I'm afraid of the dark. Confessions of a full moon. Flying high. A life full of rights and wrongs. Just me and this bag of belongings. 
This bag is empty and gets blown away with the wind. At least now I have a memory of myself flying high. Home sweet home, home after home, all these roads I've lived on. So many homes, but every one of them broken. Street after street, all of the lanes I've walked down. Blinded to hurt, the broken family I see now. Let me sleep amongst the stars. Let me sleep amongst the stars so they can turn my dark to bright. Let them comfort me until I wake from the morning light. Give me something for the days, the strength for another fight. Let me sleep among the stars and feel a warm comfort so tight. But, yeah, I've laughed, but I've also cried. I've thought about death, but I've also tried. Yeah, I've lived in warmth, but I've also lived outside. Every day I've told the truth, but I've also told lies. Oh, and this is all real, and that's my life in a rhyme. Change. The last one, boys and girls. I'm not asking for your money. I just want change in my life. If I had a penny for my thoughts, I'd take a note of all my fights. In this land of greed, there's no banking on some help. I can't feel like gold if I'm asking for copper. That's not silver lining. That's no silver lining. So good, I'm gonna read it twice. Change, I'm not asking for your money. I just want change in my life. If I had a penny for my thoughts, I'd take a note of all my fights. In this land of greed, there's no banking on some help. I can't feel like gold if I'm asking for copper. That's No Silver Lining, Change by David Smith from Streetlights and Nightlights. That would be my favorite, but I also have two more. This one reminds me so much of Veterans Day, what you see on the TV, what you hear in the news, what people tell you, what you know to be true of what goes on when there's war and people that have fought in the war and have given their lives so that we could do whatever we want. War. If I can get through this, then I don't want to fight no more. My heart will be on the front line, but my strength is not so sure. I can't take another loss. I'll be forever on the floor. You see, just waking up, that in itself is a war. I'm a ghost to my former self. My spirit walked out the door. Even the voices in my head, they don't talk anymore. All I suffered was constant hate, but at least their intentions were pure. Dying from being alone, and I'm still searching for the cure. Mm. Whew. The car outside. The car outside people use to get from A to B. The car outside, what I use for warmth to sleep. The cars outside, new and shiny, fancy and clean. This car outside just helps me off the streets. Those cars outside on journeys for I to see. My car outside, broken and bruised like me. taken from Streets and Nightlights by David Smith. The back of this book says, I'm begging for you to notice me. And I want you to see that.
Boys and girls, I'm going to read um, the introduction because sometimes the introduction in, in these books are a poetry in themselves. Hello all. Firstly, I thank you for purchasing my book, for reading my words, for listening to the voice within them. This project means a lot to me. I felt a, and lived every emotion written. I still free the cold colder. The sun is never really hot for me. I know these words won't change the problem we find ourselves in, but if you could relate to any of this book, then it's hitting home. Thank you again, David Smith. The end. Our next book, boys and girls, are Voices by Miriam Otto and Sagarika Kahani, 27 poets from around the world. Voices. Now, boys and girls, you know that I don't read the whole book. I read uh, a number of pages from each of the poetry book, ladies and gentlemen, and um, you get to read the rest when you purchase these fabulous books. You get to read the whole way through, but I give you just enough to make you want more because they are good, right? Miriam Otto, she is a shooting star, bringing light into the dark, setting a spark on fire an impulse to your heartbeat, singing to the tune of your favorite melody, seeing stories in each shade of life, holding moments in forever, framing them for you. She is the wish you are longing for, bringing the magic that you miss so much. Miriam will color your life through dancing words. But be prepared, she will cast a spell on you for sure. Then she will take you places full of magic. On a journey to long forgotten spots, she opens up gates to new realms. You are what you love. So Miriam is a poetess, a designer, a dancer, a travel blogger. blogger. <laughs> a musician, a photographer, and many more things, or call her an, an artist. While she is a multi-passionate person, she loves almost everything. Good friend Esh, a good friend of her, said about Miriam lately, how can I explain you in a single word? You spread magic. She is a part of the Mutter Square family, a wonderful poetry community where she edits books and curates writers groups with over 160 poets. She also hosts emerging, I'm sorry, engaging Insta Life's poetry readings on Instagram in an avid critic on Voice of Poets another wonderful community she founded together with Sagarika, also known as Tendesi, and Benson and at Bensaha. She is an award-winning German designer and works as a creative conceptualist for a German TV channel. She also writes a blog on secret places to visit in Italy where her parents have moved to. This book is her seventh anthology. You can also find her as the poetess in the Poetica and Womb with poets from around the globe. Right now, she's writing on her solo debut poetry book. Miriam is from Mans, Germany. And here is our porch, her poetry. I will take you to places full of magic. Follow me on, your, on my journey to the long forgotten spots, carried by my words full of hope and spark. I invite you into my spaceship, 
Take a seat. I will open a gate to new realms for you as your pilot of light, being a discoverer from the heart. Watch out for the signpost to meet me. You will hear me whispering in your dreams of long forgotten realms. Listen to the melody of my words. You will feel your hearts beating to it, full of excitement. Be courageous. From my journey to the different worlds, I collect stories just for you. My spaceship is all silver lining, difficult to overlook. If needed, I can cloak it. Don't worry, there is enough room for all two of us, so I can take you with me. But beware that I might cast a spell on you, bewitch you with my light and sparks. That's the deal. Are you ready? Then fasten your seatbelt. I will jump from planet to planet with you at the speed of light, maybe fast forward. Let me introduce myself to you. Even when you think you know me, I am always ready for a surprise. For me, there is no such thing as a user manual. I will color your life with my smile and radiance, if you let me. If you believe in the magic of life as a constant in the night sky, I will fall in love with you and the world will listen to your stories when you catch me as a falling star who fell for you. Don't forget to make a wish. Some journeys can take a lifetime. Some destinations can be reached in an instant at the speed of light. I know the shortcut, just ask me. So even when I jump fast, we might start a little long, we might stay a little longer in one realm. I can look into the future, seeing a meteor storm rushing by. But that doesn't mean we can avoid it. We'll just be preparing for it. I'll stop you there in the past, just to live again in the now, the precious moments that all that that's all that matters life can be so simple dance write fight for you and for others see the love in everything be you my true north and the milky way lullaby Stars whisper to me at night, at nighttime. I feel the Milky Way from far away singing a lullaby with its soft tune. What does your true north look like? Tell me, I am curious. I hear the beat of the universe talking to me, a voice so tender and delicate. When I listen to it, I know how to find my true north. I let my heart guide me. When I feel the pull of the magnet, I follow the invisible stream of attraction. It is a tender voice calling me softly, gently, demandingly, like a charm cast on me. We often forget to listen to our inner tune, a melody invented only for ourselves. Don't be too hard on yourself while you follow it. Just give your best. Try it. Take the next step. This is enough. Be nice to yourself. Don't rush. Be patient. Look at your progress and see what you have already achieved. I'm sure it's a lot. We often need the darkness to see the light. Make room and create space to fill it with much better things. 
the new you. Suddenly you will see your stars clearly in the night sky, brighter, shining brilliantly. The bliss of the permanent moment. I'll bring you into the present moment. Follow the bliss where no past and no future is needed. Like a drop of warm summer rain, the cold touch of snowflakes on your tongue, the fragrance of your favorite spice, maybe cinnamon, with the melody of warm coffee to wake you up the tune of your favorite song with the voice of your love. Hot, making you shiver, feeling its touch on your skin, like it was real. But it's only the echo of a soft fragrance. Melodic words that sound like music to your ears. Sometimes I let the strong winds blow throughout my whole body moving my cells, letting the fresh breeze flow through my head. When the air creates space for my new alphabet, for a new alphabet, it is exactly the time to feel your favorite color again. The pulsating heart. Wild, unbound, she collects stories from realms far away, reaching your heart if you want to give her color, choose red, lilac, and yellow from the rainbow. She feels the pulsating heart like a crystal clear stream, jumping over sharp rocks and round boulders, blue over gray stone, a love story red, all on fire, dancing water running wild, turquoise, words meant just for you a world where you are enough. No need to change, just be yourself. All in yellow shining beams, shine like the brightest torch of the world. It's the special place where you don't have to wear a mask. Call it friendship. Are you the tiger among the lions? Bush the stripes away, brush the stripes away with your fingertips. Maybe replace them with colors of the rainbow. Remember, you can be anything you want to be. It is your place to be. Feel safe. Feel at home. Last one, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. The healing heart. You still remember the special moment when you broke your own heart. Bleeding wounds that still haven't healed. You still carry the scars with you, like railroads. You wish you could use them for something better. Let them be your guide, but they are hidden behind many layers. You hold them tight and close so that they'll never open up again. Pain from the past that you only remember through dark fog, blurred memories, arriving as nightmares at night, saying goodbye to your daydreams. But listen to the whisper of your love. It is still there, always, and definitely only for you, within you, Behind the loud voice, I'll show you the way. Choose the rainbow bridge. Don't be scared. It may seem like it can't hold you. Transparency high up in the sky. A path of unknown destiny not yet visible. It feels as if you are waiting for yourself behind a mirror. But secretly, you already know that the goal is to love yourself. Be patient and be gentle. 
It's strong feeling in the heart. It's a strong feeling in the heart. Once it is released, it's, it is louder, calmer, and warmer than all your other tunes. Playing to your own melody, never soft, always demanding. Reach out for your love, your love for the world, ready to be felt, dive into it, let go. Coming from Voices by Miriam Otto and 27 poets from around the world. Boys and girls, this last one on that I just read to you is the one that is my most favorite. And I'm going to read it to you again because it goes in. It may seem like it can't hold you transparently high up in the sky a path of unknown destiny not yet visible it feels as if you are waiting for yourself behind a mirror it feels like I've been waiting for myself behind a mirror till we went into quarantine on March 12th and I started reading to my kids online, on YouTube, and on Instagram. That line for me right there, it feels as if you are waiting for yourself behind a mirror. That was me. And then I came around to see myself in the mirror and see what it is that I needed to be doing. And that's what I've been doing right here with you. But secretly, you already know that the goal is to love yourself. And that's always been the goal, to love myself and to spread love to everyone that I meet. Be patient and be gentle. It's a strong feeling in the heart. Yes, it is. Once it is released, and it has been right here with you, it is louder, calmer, and warmer than all your other tunes playing to your own melody never soft always demanding reach out for your love that is you every last one of you that hears me read your love for the world ready to be felt dive in and let go boys and girls she got me she found me there it is that last one pretty much sums it up for why I'm sitting here with you. It is Miss Reynolds with board with these two beautiful books today. I do not own the rights to these books or any of the books that I read to you here on board with Miss Reynolds, better off reading every day. But I absolutely love storytelling magic and I love the way it makes me feel. And I love poetry. And I love being able to do Poetry Fridays with you boys and girls. And you ladies and gentlemen. I started Poetry Fridays a while ago. And so far I have found some really, really great poetry. And people who write poetry. Especially in my community on Instagram. Bored with Miss Reynolds which is where I find a lot of people that write poetry and write books. And I am honored to be in their company as I am in your company. Like I said, I started this whole thing to keep in touch with my kids when they closed my school and I didn't know what else I was gonna do. So it keeps being my pleasure, pleasure and it keeps making me feel good. And that's why I keep coming to you like this every single day. I hope, I hope, my hope is that you feel the way I feel when I read. I hope that that's coming across because I feel good. I feel useful. I feel wonderful. I feel silly. I feel feel awesome. Sometimes I bumble my words and I have to start again, but hey, 
such is life. I love putting a little bit up here, a whole lot of love in here, and making you laugh a little bit. And I hope that you get to do the same to somebody in your life today, because that's what it's all about. Now, little boy Debbie and I, she is always my poetry psychic. I come here with her every single Friday when we do this because I love having someone to read to. And she is LBD. Kind of like, you know, every woman has their favorite little black dress. She is my little boy, Debbie, who I spend my time with reading to when I'm also reading to you. And yes, we are always in pajamas, robes, slips, socks because we like to be comfortable because it's Friday and on Friday that's what we do so if you're in the mood and you ever feel like what should I be doing on a Friday maybe you should be hanging out with these two chicks little boy Debbie and Miss Reynolds better off reading every day bye